Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellas sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, Gilberto Ramirez, the roar right on the street, is that he pulled out of an interim fight for the WBC title with Marcus Brown. We'll get there in a minute. But first, let's talk about Jamel Charlo. I seen somebody say on Twitter that Ronnie Shields said that Juan Macasius Montiel may be a potential opponent. Let's talk a little bit about it. I, I got to ask, but hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. This is not about Juan being a bad fighter or whatever, but... They saying if he can't get Eubanks, and I know for a fact that Eubanks, he was in talks to fight um uh um Jamel, and he ended up signing with Katie Sutherland. He's trying to get I think uh, Chris Eubanks, Liam Williams, or Liam Smith, a few fighters. Kel Brook was on that list, so um I don't know I don't know if they done or can they still negotiate with Allen, Katie Sutherland. And Katie Sutherland is the basically the overseer, the owner of the World Super Series Boxing Tournament. But it's not about Juan. But let's let's just take a look. Let's just say it's true they've gonna fight Juan Marquesius Montiel, right? All right. He is twenty two and four. Twenty two knockouts though. Every time he win, he get a knockout. One four losses, one knockout, right? He lost his one two three, four fight of his career majority to draw or decision. Um, okay, let's say he could win this way. Second loss came a few few fights later. Alejandro, Alejandro Guerrero, split decision. Okay, he could have went this way again. And then he fought Johnny, Freddy, Natarate, Montano. He got knocked out by... No, he had split decisions, so he, he just getting bad decisions, I guess. Then he got knocked out by Jaime Maguire in 2017. Let me see what that weight was of that fight. We just, I'm not saying that he not a bad, because he probably he'll fuck me up. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you up, too, if you ain't a professional boxer. Fuck all you MMA guys up, man. We just talking shit. But uh, this fight was at welterweight. So this was a welterweight contest. So this dude used to fight at welterweight. So uh, he and he had a draw versus Hugo Centennial Jr., which I seen him fight Jamal, excuse me, Jamal at the Barclays Center. That, that night was lit until y'all Rainboy boy got to shooting in the Barclays. He just knocked out... James Kirkland. We all know James Kirkland. Is he done? Is he finished? In my Birdman voice. And you playing with my name. But if he was to fight an opponent like this, I mean, let's look at the division, right? Because I like Jamal. Let's look at the division, right? Camille Zamata, he just lost. Andreo Chirakitaka, Carlos Molina, Torian Johnson, Hugo, I think Torian just lost too. Matteo Siganino, Miss Smith, Dennis Hogan, Montiel, Escavia Falcoa, Brandon Adams. Some Russian dude named Selucky, Liam Williams, Dervinchenko, he moved to 54, Jaime Munguia. Um, last name Vidal, Ronald Ellis, who just moved up to middleweight. Um, Alfonso Blanco, Intelie Mordaka Bawaka Waka, Michael Zephra, David Papat, Papat, Jaime Munguia, Sergio Martinez, Mikhail Vlakalak, Mag Magnamal, I don't know these dudes' name. Uh, Patrick Wolaki. Marcos Nader, Salah, Slam, Neka, Salam. Uh, I'm I'm butchering these dudes' names. Dennis from uh, Rodovan, Felix Cash, anywhere, whatever his last name is. Denzel Bentley. I mean, okay. Danny Diganam. But at the same time, man, this is my point. It's not saying he fight, but if he was to fight a guy of this character, this caliber. How how can you justify fighting him and ducking David Benavidez? Because you called him out. The guy asked the question. You put your foot in your mouth. That's just the facts. These are the breaks. That's the truth. So if no Eubanks, which to me Eubanks is, it's a, it's a, it, it seemed to be a great fight years down the down the road. But uh, okay, you fight Eubanks. It does nothing for your career. J Rock is still your best win. Um. I mean, I can justify him fighting nobody else. I mean, he would have to move up at 68 and um, just tune up and get ready. I mean, 
I mean, you know, honestly, if I'm Jamal, Jamal, excuse me, I'm taking on Hami Mavui. I'm seeing Hami, let's make the fight. Triple G don't want to fight you. If I couldn't get Jaime, then I try to go get Murata. I try to go get Murata. Say, Murata, come on, we can unify before, you know, say, jump in front of Triple G. Couldn't get Triple G, you're not going to fight Demetrius Zion's ride, okay. So, out of the other names in the division, who can I get? He would have been better off fighting Ronald Ellis, but that's not. Excavate Falco, brother. I don't know where Yamaguchi at. Is he at another weight class? But the Falco, brother. Um, Salucky so should be an option. Um, really, those are probably the names, you know, that, that people would want to know. And his, his resume is still is shit. You can't just call out him, call out a man like that, and then you go fight, you know, this Montiel guy. Come on. And you might have to go down there and get somebody to fight at 154. I mean, maybe call out Liam Smith. But this just don't make no sense because when PBC don't have the ammunition to make a fight, you know, they fans get mad and they want to say, oh, Triple G or Canelo need to fight me or whatever. Like, Demetrius Andrade would love to fight you. Why not fight Demetrius Andrade? Come on, man. Why not unify with Demetrius Andre? But I would tell my team to go get the Murata fight. If Jamal has to go over to Japan and fight, that's what you're going to have to do. You vaccinated, so it shouldn't be no problem. But I, like I said before, man, he can't just fight these caliber of fighters waiting for Canelo. Canelo not going to fight you. He had a whole different weight class. So, like I said before, man, these, these people, I'm going to talk about it tonight. So, I'm not going to get disrespectful in my blue face voice just yet. But, but honestly, let's just talk about the names of the division. Who should he fight next? Okay. Demetrius Andre, Liam Williams fight. Gennady Golovkin won't fight. We all know this. He keep calling the same motherfucking name out. I just think he called it for anything for clout. Anything for clout. Eubanks, who went to another promotional company. Oh, he got another one. Sergio Martinez. Why not get Sergio Martinez? I mean, Sergio Martinez is a fighting for a million dollars. So, Chris Eubanks, Sergio Martinez, Escave Falcoa. I don't know what happened to Yamaguchi. Maybe he just not ranked. Uh... Hmm. Ronald Ellis already moved. Michael Zaff for the stripper. Okay. Jaime Munguia. Uh, 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 Magic Salucky Man. I call him Magic Man. He beat for, uh, uh, Hogan. He already beat uh, Brandon Adam. So, really, his, 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 if he's staying in middleweight, we're just talking about middleweights that I, I can recognize. Jaime BC should be number one. All right. Chris Eubank should be number two. No, no. Kami should be number one. Eubank should be number two. Then you start getting into Sergio Martinez and, and Salucky and those guys. But obviously, Derby Chango, he fought him. He moved to 54. But like I said, man, you can, he can talk all tough all day. We know Triple G won't come fight him. We know Keno not going to fight him. Why not fight Demetrius Andrade and unify? And then whoever he fight, let's say he truly is fighting this Montiel guy. Liam Williams can fight Montiel. The winner can get the Demetrius Andrade. And Jamal winner, like I said before, man, I'm going to save it for the night. But apparently, Zero Ramirez, Gilberto Ramirez, pulled out of an interim WBC title fight with Marcus Brown. And I seen Marcus Brown walking in the Barclays Center the same night I seen Hugo and Jamal fight. It was a few fights on that card. The main event was Adrian Broner and uh, Jesse, Jesse Vargas. So, my whole thing is, what is Gilberto doing in his career? He cried his way out of the um, top rank. He wanted too much money to go to the zone. So what is he doing, bro? Why not fight with Marcus Brown? You can beat Marcus Brown, but maybe he don't want to go ahead and fight under better BF. And I wouldn't want to fight better BF neither. So I understand the dynamic in that, but Ramirez needs to retire, man, because at least he should have and he should have fought for the WBL. He could be fighting Joe Smith Jr. instead of uh, and that fight got called off versus Salab, whatever his name is. He pulled out of the tournament because he didn't want to fight. He think he worth more money than you. Man, you ain't the Michael Jackson in Mexico. You, you ain't even Tito. Canelo was Michael Jackson and like Jaime Tito. Like, I don't know what Ramirez is thinking. Him and his wife, whoever his advisor is, is just, you know, they is dumb, 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 dumb. They just don't know what they doing, man. He should have got the WBO. Canelo would have jumped up, fought him, fought him at a catchway. He could have made his money get the hell off. Because look at the champions at 175, right? Let's just look at the landscape. The landscape of 175. One division under cruiserweight. One division above super middleweight. 
Ramirez is number one for the WBC. John Pascal. He can fight Pascal. Why not? Pascal. Um, Badu Jack. Why not? Uh, Jesse Hardy already fought him. Blake Caparillo. Joshua Bawati. Bawati might fuck around and beat him. Anthony Yard. He can fight Anthony Yard. He just lost again, though, but still. Shabransky still hanging around here. Um, uh, I don't even know who Albert Ramirez is, but hey, fight him. Hmm. Craig Richards. Craig Richards deserve a fight. Let's see what Craig Richards looks like. Oh, Craig Richards, I'm pretty sure no other YouTuber talked about you, but we're we going we gonna to give you some uh, shine. We're going to give Craig Richards some shine. He a brother, too. He from the UK. He lost one time. He lost to a unanimous decision to Frank Bugliani for the BBC of British heavy, uh, light heavyweight title. And... He lost to that Fan Long man, manga guy. He lost to somebody. No, he ain't lost yet. Okay. Dude from China. So, I mean, why, why not fight Craig Richards? He the one. Seven straight. Man, Craig, man, he better fight Craig Richards. Why not fight Craig Richards? He deserves a shot. Tell Craig Richards to but hey. I mean, Ramirez don't know what he want to do, man. And that's sad, man. But let me know what you think about the Charlo thing. What you think about the Ramirez thing, man. But he can fight Igner Malachi. See, I can pronounce that name. Kovalev fought. He can fight Sergey Kovalev. Why do Ramirez don't want to fight nobody, man? I don't know. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Thank don't forget to follow me at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out anytime if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All my social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter. Then Facebook, then Instagram, all those social media description. Got a Facebook group as well, too. I uh, want to make a financial donation. Cash app CJ Good313. That's your description. PayPal link in the description as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share video. So I'm going to find Craig, Craig, what's his name? Craig Richards in the UK and tell him to tap in so we can interview him. But hey, appreciate the love, support. Let me know what you in the comment section. We're going.